Hi friends, today we are going to make my dad's cinnamon rolls. Actually, they are Pillsbury. It's a really old recipe. I say my dad's recipe, but this is the one he used to make. It is from the Pillsbury bread little booklet. Super old. It's going to be super fun. Let's go. So I have my little cheat sheet here because this recipe, the writing in it is super tiny. I'll put it right here. So I took it upon myself to write some notes on a piece of paper. So first I'm going to measure in two cups of flour, but keep in mind we are going to use a total of six to seven cups of flour in this recipe. We need half a cup of sugar. This is a quarter cup. Two teaspoons of salt four and a half teaspoons of yeast, and a half. Need a cup of water, a cup of milk, I just reread my recipe um, just to double check. I need to get this to about 120 to 130. It's not your typical 110. If you bake, you're used to like a yeast bread at 110, but this is a little bit more forgiving, which I like. It's a lot hotter than that. So I'm going to turn it down for a little bit. I don't want to kill the yeast. I also am going to need an egg. I'm not going to add it directly in here because I don't want to, oops. I don't want to make scrambled eggs. Too warm. Just going to wait for that to come down. We are at 134. So I'm going to go with that. Oh, I forgot I have to beat this. Shoot. Now I'm going to add three to four cups of flour. In the first part where I put in the two cups of flour, I meant to use my bread flour and I forgot. So the first two are my favorite. Same brand as this. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I will link it down below. This is my absolute favorite brand of flour, and I do think it matters. For the next three to four cups, and from here on out, I will be making sure that I use the bread flour. That's three so far. So the first part you beat you beat it in, obviously, as I did with the electric mixer for three minutes. And then this part, you mix in by hand three to four cups of flour. As, until you get a ball forming. Not too bad. I am going to add a little bit more though pretty sticky. Call that three and a half. About another quarter, if anyone's keeping track. From this point forward, I don't really keep track. Sorry, my bowl's moving probably out of the way of the camera. Yep, this is good. I washed and dried my hands so that I didn't have dough everywhere. Now I'm going to knead this and as I as necessary, I'll add in up to maybe another cup of flour. And I can tell it's getting a little sticky. So 
so if it really starts to stick to my hands, sometimes I just do this. Use up what I've got on my counter first. And I just push it like this, turn it and give it a fold, turn, fold, turn, like that. sticky again. You really use the that part of your hand. That's what my dad always taught me anyways. It feels really good though this dough. I just hope it rises. That's always the crapshoot is the yeast and is my yeast working? Was it the right temperature of liquid? I just checked the directions. It's about 10 minutes of kneading. It's been 10 minutes and it is feeling really smooth, which is what you're looking for. A real smooth texture with some blistering. You can see underneath the surface, but you can see that blistering underneath. So we are going to just tuck it into a ball And you want to put a little bit of oil, just so, any kind of oil that doesn't have obviously a strong flavor to it, just to make sure your bowl is greased. Now we are going to get our dough into the bowl. The directions in the Pillsbury book say to cover it with wrap and a towel. So my dad used to just do the towel, as I recall, but I am the last time I made these, I just followed the directions and did the wrap, and it seemed to come out really well. So I'm just doing it again. While the dough continues to rise, I am going to finish prepping. So this is a half a cup of butter a half a cup of brown sugar, and then to that we are going to add two tablespoons of light corn syrup. But I'm just going to see if I can do this with my fingers to mix this together. This is what makes these cinnamon buns what are called sticky buns, is this mixture right here. Okay, when you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. And now I'm going to do the other one. Both pans are prepped and ready to go. I've got one more prep step to show you. Cinnamon sugar. I just take a cup of sugar. This is one cup of sugar and four teaspoons of cinnamon for reference. I'm just going to give it a good stir. That's that. I'm going to set this aside now and all of our preparation is done. We just have to finish waiting for the dough to rise. Okay, it has been an hour. I have not peeked at this at all. Sometimes I peek to see if it's rising, so we'll do it together. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, it so worked. Yay! You guys, oh my god! I am so happy and excited that it worked. It's always like such a big surprise. So now you just punch it down. That's the fun part. And we're not going to work it at all. And then this roll it in on itself. And then you just set it on your counter and you take your bowl and you plop it down like this for 15 minutes. And then we'll be back to actually roll out the dough and make the cinnamon rolls. Okay, now it has been 15 minutes. 
Now we are going to divide the dough in half. And now I'm going to roll this out to 20 by 12 inches, ideally. Now, I'm going to use, I'm going to divide this in half and use half on this piece and half on our other piece. tightly, as tightly as you can do it. So take your time with this. And I'll show you how I scored them. I just took my handy dandy tape measure. Look at that. I'm trying my serrated knife. I can't remember what I used the last time I made these. Oh yeah, that's better. Seventeen. Three short of the twenty. Now these have to rise for about forty-five minutes. I'm probably only going to do a thirty-minute rise. I'll decide. It's time to roll out our other dough and do this all over again. I'll bring you back when we're ready to go in the oven. Cinnamon buns going in. So I haven't had a chance to taste them yet, and this is all that's left. And yes, it's still the same evening. The other tray is gone because we gave it away, so let's do a taste test. And the noise, if you can hear it in the background, my husband is working out downstairs. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always say the same thing. Whoa. I always say it, but it's so good. Holy cow. That is outstanding, really. My dad would be so happy that we made these today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. 
and can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Hey, Grant. Did you try the cinnamon rolls? What did you think? Like really good? I thought they were outstanding. You know what they were? What I always say about our coffee. Delicious. Like probably the best thing I ate today was that. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, just wondering what you thought. They were really good.